tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Hey everybody, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Cirrus Insight Google Calendar Sync with Salesforce. So basically the Cirrus Insight group have done it again. They have created a great integration between Salesforce and the Google Apps product using the Cirrus Insights product, which links your Google Apps accounts and your Salesforce accounts uh, and it does it beautifully. So what we're going to show you in this video is how to create a Google Calendar event and automatically sync that through Cirrus Insights to your Salesforce application. And this is all done within Google. It's all done within the Google Calendar or directly in your email through your Google Insights product. And the beauty of this is that it can all be done just from one place. You don't have to worry about any complicated syncs back and forth between Salesforce or going into Salesforce and touching any settings there. It's all done within Cirrus Insight. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a link back to the post and some more information about how you can get Cirrus Insight. It is, hands down, one of the most valuable tools that we use at OrgSpring. So before we get started, I want to just introduce you to some of the integration abilities between Google Apps and Salesforce. So using the main Cirrus Insight product, syncing between the Google Apps and Salesforce, what you'll see are events that go back and forth. So here, for example, you'll see I have today's date and I'm looking at my meetings and my schedule here just for today. And you'll see a couple events here, one at 9 a.m., one at 1 p.m., one at 3 p.m. And then if I, this is my Google Apps, this is my Google Calendar. And then if we link over to my Salesforce Calendar, we will see the same thing. So you'll see here, here's my calendar for today. And we have the same events. They mirror exactly what's showing up on the calendar. Now, the only difference is with the main integration or the previous integration, you would only get some basic information. Since I live mostly in Google Apps and that's where I get my emails and my meeting requests, I update most of that information in Google Apps. So you'll see if I click in, for instance, this, we've got some information about a conference link, a conference call, and then you will see some general information. This happens to be with a particular nonprofit partner here. And then that similar information over in Salesforce, if I click and link over to this with the standard integration, you'll see the subject of this calendar is the same name and the same person as it is in Google. However, with the previous integration, this didn't link to a particular person or a particular account. So there's really no link. So I can't click on this person's name and then link over to that person or their record or their account in Salesforce. So the integration is somewhat limited. The calendar integration with Google Calendar and Cirrus Calendar now fixes that. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So first thing we're gonna do is hop back into Gmail. So you'll see here in Gmail, I've received an email from somebody requesting a conference call be set up. And this is in my Google Apps for OrgSpring. And you'll see here I have the Cirrus Insights panel loaded and it shows this contact and her particular information. So what I would normally do is click here under activities and I would create an event for this person. You'll see that there are no current activities uh, found or no open activities. So I'll click here and I will create an event. And this person is requesting a conference call. And it's related to a possible volunteer activity. And I will set the date and time. The date is today. And we're talking about doing the event at 2.15 p.m. And the end time will be roughly set this to 2.45 p.m. And you'll see it's related to her contact. Cirrus Insights automatically fills that in. And we'll put a note or description information. 
and then we'll set a reminder time for today and we'll be reminded an hour before at 1 15 p.m. and we will hit save. Now what this is going to do is create an activity here and you'll see if we hover over this open activities and we'll see that detail and it's also going to add that to our Salesforce and our Google Calendar automatically. So you'll see the information here in the Serious Insights sidebar. And if we just click on this, it will show us the general information. And we can click this little cloud button here, and then it'll actually open it in Salesforce for us. So you'll see it brings us directly to the event we have created. And you'll see here all the information we added from Serious Insight directly from Google App. The difference now is you'll see that it automatically adds that contact person and their information. So we have all the information we've put here along with the description. And if we were to click on that person, it will bring us directly to that person's contact record. And it will also show us the open activity that we have with that person. So that's uh, a great functionality of the integration with the Cirrus Insight product and also Google Calendar. Now, the addition that they made in terms of what you can do inside the actual Google Calendar is interesting as well. So we're going to hop over into the Google Calendar now. And you'll see that this event has been added here. And I will just click into that and edit that. And here's all the information that we added. And now you'll see this Salesforce tab, which is what the Cirrus Insight Salesforce integration does. And it adds some general information. Now I do want to point out that this integration is not instant. It may take a minute or two before the calendar syncs up between Salesforce and your Google Calendar. It generally happens very quickly, but it may take a few minutes. So what we have here inside is some information. I have an activity type listed as a general to do. I'll change that to a call. This is a custom field that I've added. You may not see this on your side of things. And then it's listed to Emily's contact, which we have here. I did not put an account in for her, so there's nothing listed there. And then I'll just click save there. So that information is linked up. Again, we can go back and forth between these objects. If I view this in Salesforce, it will open it up in a new tab and bring me back and forth between these items. I could edit it either here in Salesforce and it will link to Google Apps Calendar or I can edit it directly here in the calendar and it will link it to Salesforce. Another great thing you can do with the Cirrus Insight Google Calendar integration is to relate existing events to existing accounts and contacts and any other custom object in Salesforce. So to show you an example here, I'm in the Google Calendar and I'm looking at an event that's going on today. And if I click in this event to look at the details, I will see a Salesforce tab here now showing up inside of the Google Calendar. So I'll click on that tab and it's going to show me a few things. It gives me the ability to open this in Salesforce, which I can do, of course. It, uh, I have a custom field here with activity type. You may not see that, but this one is going to be a call, so I'll change that to a call. And then it gives me the opportunity to relate it to an opportunity or an account or a contact or a lead. And then I can select other information as well. So in this case, I do want to uh, relate it to a particular account. So you'll see here I have account selected. So I will type in the word just and search. And this is going to pull up a couple things from my Salesforce account related to that name. So I'll select that. And then I will relate it to a contact. I'm just going to type the word Emily in there and I'll be able to pick Emily from the correct area. And all of that is saved here. I'm just going to click save and that will update. And then again, if I go back into this, and look at this and then I could click open in Salesforce and it's going to open this field in Salesforce and you will notice now that the event changes it's not just a simple event with the subject but it has added the organization name and the name of the person with whom I'll be speaking for this conference call so this gives you the ability to interrelate all of these events, your Google Apps and your Salesforce in a much more seamless way. So that when you're looking at these records or these contacts, either in Salesforce or Google Apps, you have a more holistic view of the activities going on with that particular person. So it's a really great integration. And with just a few clicks of the mouse, you can relate all of this information inside of your email, calendar and database. 
Now I'm going to show you some of the abilities to attach custom Salesforce objects to these calendar event items. So inside Google Apps Calendar, you'll notice this was the event I was just working on and we had linked it to the account. You can also click down here and instead of linking it to an opportunity or an account, you could list it to any custom object. So I'm going to link this to a project that I have. So for example, here I have a project associated with all of our partners and I'm going to click there and it's going to list it to my project and I'm just going to type the word Justin, link it to the project that I currently have running and then I will save that. It brings me back to the calendar. Now if I just click inside that event and I click on the Salesforce tab and I open this in Salesforce, it's going to bring us to the event inside Salesforce and we can click on this and now it's telling us that it's related to the Just Harvest Task Ray project. So if I were to click on this, this is going to relate this event to a particular project. So we can see our project and all of the different tasks that we've completed or are currently going on. And you'll notice it adds an activity, an open activity related to this project. So if we were to look at this project tab, we'd be able to see that there is currently an open activity associated with this project. So Cirrus Insight Calendar Link gives you the ability to link this to custom objects, to link it to accounts, opportunities, even campaigns. And I'll show you how to do that with a campaign we're running to uh, get volunteers to work with Orgspring on certain projects. And I'll show you that next. So here we are back in a recent event that we created and I have the ability to link to different objects here. So in this case, rather than linking to an account or relating this to an account, I'm going to relate this to a campaign. So I click on campaign and then this is related to volunteer. So I'm just going to click volunteer. It's going to search within Salesforce and it's going to find my campaign called volunteers winter 2014 campaign. So I'll select that and then I will save this. And that's been saved. We'll just click in it again and we'll open this up in Salesforce. And it's going to open up this event and you'll notice that it is now related to the campaign. So I will click on that link and it'll take me directly to the campaign that we're running to track how many volunteers we get. We're, we're running a winter volunteer campaign whereby we're looking to add volunteers for certain tasks that we do through OrgSpring for our nonprofit partners. And this is a great way to add this activity right away inside this campaign. And should anything come of this, we could automatically update this particular object right here inside Salesforce and add that either to campaign members or campaign response and we could track the activity. But even before we get there, we can use Cirrus Insight Calendar Sync to add this activity directly to the campaign. So as we're tracking events or we're tracking information, it could all be done in one place. And it's a really nice way to attach this to custom objects. So just to recap, we've shown you how using Cirrus Insights along with the Google Calendar Sync and Google Calendar integration, you now have the ability to link your Google Apps, with your Google Calendar and also your Salesforce. All done through the Cirrus Insight Google Calendar Sync, all done from one place. And we've shown you how to relate that not only to contacts, but also how to relate that event inside your Google Calendar directly to Salesforce custom objects like accounts or campaigns or even tickets, custom cases, and any other custom object that you can create. So if you'd like to know how to get Cirrus Insight, you can click on the link at the end of this video and head over to our post where you can get more information there, or you can go directly to our form that allows you to get Cirrus Insight at a discount for your nonprofit. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment here or on the post that accompanies this video. You could find that post link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.